welcome, welcome to another edition, another episode of Mondays with Motto. I am your host, Motto. Glad to be back on the podcast. Glad to be back on the show. I love doing the show. One of my favorite things to do throughout the week, or week to week, I should say. One of my favorite things to do. Um, this episode is being brought to you by Bank Novo. All of my solopreneurs out there, all of my entrepreneurs out there, it is super important to separate your business finances from your personal finances. And I think the best way to do that is with Bank Novo. Uh, Bank Novo has an easy to use uh, iOS app, Android app, and web interface. And did I mention that you can get a free business checking account today with Bank Novo? Yes, free. Uh, check out the link in the description of this podcast. Take you right to Bank Novo, and you can uh, begin. Um, you can begin uh, your free business checking account today with Bank Novo. Bank Novo is the way to go. I use Bank Novo um, as a business checking account, and um, it's great. I can't complain about it. It's, it's super great. A lot of integrations. Um, it has everything you need for a business banking account. Um, so that's the way you want to go with a business banking account. Um, thank you guys for listening. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and review. I want to talk about something that I, uh, something that was manifested on me, um, but not too long ago. I just was thinking. Um, I, I think some people get the idea that podcasting is easy, right? I think people um, turn on other people's podcasts or they watch uh, people podcasts, people who have a simulcast, and they look at it and they go, "Look, they're just talking. I can do that. It's easy. I'm interesting. It's easy. There's no way I'm going to start a podcast now." I am one of the people who says everyone should have a podcast, right? For me, not only is it fun to do, um, it's, it hurts. New, it, it's having your own podcast to me nowadays in the tw- in 2021 and beyond. Having your own podcast is just like it's no different than having your own Twitter account or having your own Facebook or having your own YouTube channel. Like you should have one. You should have an outlet to speak and say things that you want to say. Doesn't matter what they, you know. There's, there's no police. It's, we have we live in America under the First Amendment, right? There's no one to police the things you say. Just be accountable for the things you say. You know what I mean? That's all you got to do. So, but podcasting is not easy, right? And I wanted to talk about the idea of, uh, you know, just the idea of like, like some some people just think that someone's just sitting there talking, spilling out their ideas, going off the top of their head. Um, a lot of things that people don't know. It, it's a it's a very technical aspect to producing a podcast, right? If you're doing a simulcast, you want to you want to have your lighting right. You, of course, you want to have a camera, um, and you have to make a decision on what camera you want to use. Do you want to use an iPhone? Do you want to use a, 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 a another smartphone? Do you want to use a, a DSLR? Do you want to you know what I mean? Do you want to have a, a rotating camera? Do you want to have multi cameras? It's a lot of decisions to make when it turns to how you want to how you want your simulcast to look as far as your audio. There's a lot of different things with that. Once you get the raw audio, there's a lot of things you can do. You can normalize the audio. You can compress the audio. There's a lot of things that you can add reverb to your podcast. You can do whatever you want to your audio to enhance the experience. But um, it, there's, there's still a lot of decisions to make, and there's a lot of things to go through to figure out how you want your podcast, right? There's also challenges to podcasts, right? You need to pick your pot, your you need to pick a host for your podcast. So podcasting host is um, where your podcast lives. Where your it's, it's a digital cloud space somewhere where your podcast is holded. It's usually it's very inexpensive. There's a lot of podcast services out there. Um, you can even host your own if you have your own uh, service space somewhere out in the world. You can host your own. A lot more work when you host your own podcast and um, host your own podcast hosting service, but. Um, it is what it is. But the podcast and hosting service is very inexpensive, but there are a lot of them out there, and they all offer different things. So you have to choose that, right? Then you have to find out, you also have to find out things that you're interested in talking about. And you want to find things that are interesting that other people actually want to hear. You know what I mean? You have challenges. Like you just, it's, a lot of people I know, they like to buy it, and they, they like to just say things off the top of their head. They don't really put a plan together when they, when they, when they, when they, um, when they do their podcast. And yes, you can do that. That's that's an option. But I've noticed that when you put a plan together, the podcast comes out well. More the podcast comes out, you, you get a better produced podcast, a better produced product. When you plan, you uh, you know when you just when you just got a script or a plan, you put something together, and you before you even open your mouth on the podcast. So, um, that's one thing that I've finding interesting things to talk about over and over and over and over and over again without regurgitating the same 
things over and over and over again. Um, that's hard. Then you want to talk about marketing your podcast. You talk about then we talk about getting into the business of podcasting or understanding the business business of podcasting. Personally, I think learning and understanding is two different things, and that's why I'm going to use that for this. Learning and understanding the business of podcasts and or the media business is essential, I think, in the podcast world. Because if you're just doing a podcast and you're not learning and or understanding the po- the business of podcasts, you're just recording yourself. And now, it, I'm, I, I said in the beginning of the show that podcasting is fun for me. It's fun, number one. It's fun f- first for me. I love doing it. I love putting it together. I love marketing it. I love figuring out ideas, finding things to talk about, finding interesting things to do. I love it. It's fun. The business part of it isn't so much fun. It's it's you no. Know, it's just it's business. It's very logical. It's very business, and it's not it's not very cut and dried. Podcasting industry has exploded in the last few years, so it's it's still relatively new. There is no there isn't a sure you can make your own blueprint. There are people who have blueprints on how to how to you know how to maneuver in the podcast business, but there isn't a foolproof plan. Like if you want to become a doctor in the in this world, you there's usually a there's a plan involved into doing that, right? There's a plan involved into how you can become a doctor. There might be a few different paths you can take. There might be a few different institutions you can go to, but there are there is a blueprint to some degree to how to become a doctor. Podcasting is different. You can take many roads. You can your where you're trying to go might not be might be different. If you're even trying to make money from it, it might be different. So it, it's just it's too new to have a full blueprint plan on how to about the business of podcasts. It's just, and there's, different, there's also different levels as well. So, um, also, I mean, one of the things that people don't understand, there's a lot of people who start podcasts. I don't think there's a lot of people who still remain, who still finish doing podcasts, who's, who, who's, who remains consistent in producing their podcasts, right? Especially early on. If you're on a lower level and you're just, you know, you, you know, you, you just, you know, put you don't you got whatever you got together. You put your you know you got your money, you put together you know got your equipment, camera, whatever it is. And you just start doing your podcast, and you know it's it's relatively new, and you don't have the the audience or the attention that you want yet. It's it could be it can get hard to remaining motivated to continue to produce that podcast, even if even if you are getting the attention and the motivation, it still may be hard to motivate you to continue to do your podcast. I personally think that if you pot, if you have a podcast or you want to do a podcast, you have to love it because it's it's it could be it could turn into a labor of love, um, and you might not make a dollar from. There's no guarantee you're going to make one dollar or any money from podcast. It's just not guaranteed. So, I think if you love it enough and you're consistent enough, I think you can materialize money. You could you can make some money doing uh, podcasting, and um, so. That's I think that's a very very key factor. A lot of people start podcasts. A lot of, don't don't a lot of people consistently post their podcasts or remain keep their podcasts as relevant as possible. So, um, yeah. So that's just my, my my breakdown. I can talk about the business of podcasting pretty much all day. I even thought about um, creating a podcast about podcasts to talk about podcasts with other podcasts. Just talking about the business of podcasts. Um, to be very very honest, I, I still might I still may do that. Um, but um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys that podcasting is not easy. You have to, whatever you're doing in your life now, before you start your podcast, you have to delegate time. You have to delegate the time to um, producing your podcast. You have to. It's not something you just, it can be a hobby, but I'm telling you, it's going to be a hobby that consumes a lot of time. You have to put the work in, and I think you have to love it to continue to do it. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm over and I'm out of here, man. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of Mondays with Mondo. Please make sure you rate, subscribe, and review on whatever platform you listen to this podcast on. It would greatly, greatly be appreciated. Um, please make sure you take care of our sponsor, Bank Novo. Um, click the link in the description of this podcast if you want or in, or in the market for a free business checking account. You want to separate your business finances from your personal finances. And the best way to do that is with Bank Novo. I'm over and I'm out of here, man. See you guys next Monday.